Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a character controller to your game so that you can start moving around your game environment in first person view. So um, there's a couple of different character controllers that you can add to your game. We're going to look at the first person um, character controller in this tutorial because we don't actually have a character um, yet or a model that represents a character in this game yet. So we're just going to look um, and move around the game world in first person view. So to um, use a character controller you probably need to import um, the package first into your scene. So if you go up to the assets menu and then click on import package and then characters and um, when you import a package you can usually just select you know, just individual things that you need. If you just leave everything selected and you do that with every package, then it can really kind of slow down um, the Unity program when you're working with it. Um, but with this, we're just going to import everything anyway. So um, just click on import. Okay, and once that's imported, which it might just take a minute to do that, but once that's imported, we can then go into the Assets folder, um, the Standard Assets folder, and then find our Character Controller and basically just drag it onto the scene and we're away. So it's quite quick and easy to do. So that's imported. Now we can just go to the Standard Assets folder down here in the Assets panel. Okay, and go to Characters, First Person Character. Let's just double click on these folders. Uh, then prefabs, and then we need to find the FPS controller. Okay, so once you've found that, you can just drag it straight onto your scene. So preferably look for a, um, a flat area in the scene. Okay, so we might just drop the FPS controller somewhere around here. Okay. All right, so just drop it onto the terrain. Um, once you've done that, you need to make sure that you deactivate any cameras. So I've got two cameras here. I can just uncheck these boxes here next to the camera names to deactivate those cameras. So that basically it defaults to the first person um, view. Okay, once we've done that, we can just click on play. And here we are. So to move around, well, I didn't actually go on a flat area, but to move around, we just move the mouse cursor around to look up and down, left and right. And then we use the WASD keys on the keyboard to move around. So W is forward, A is left, D is right, and S is back. Okay. Um, if you walk using the W key, it's a little bit slow. So you might want to hold down shift, which will allow you to run. Okay. Notice that the sound effects are also included here. Okay, so you can actually hear the character running. Um, okay, so A moves left, D moves right, S moves back, W is forward, and Shift increases the speed. Okay, you can also jump by pressing the spacebar. Alright, now the great thing about adding a first person controller to your scene um, before the game is complete is basically allows you to move around your game environment and see what it's actually going to be like for any players in the game. So you can quickly see things that might be wrong with your game. So for example, in your terrain, if the hills are actually too steep for characters to walk up, then you can go back and you can re-sculpt the terrain and maybe flatten some of the hills out. So this hill here, I can't get up that because it's too steep. And if you want your character to be able to move up that, then you'll need to flatten it out. So it allows you to look at your terrain and see, you know, if you need to sculpt some areas of the terrain, fix little um, pieces up. And it also lets you look at things like grass. So if you've added heaps of grass to your terrain and it's kind of too thick or too high, then you can fix that up. Or if you've got too many trees in there, 
or if it's hard for a character to move around different objects. So um, that's basically how to add a first person controller to your game. It's pretty quick and easy to do. Thanks for watching.